hallo meine Lieben und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Greedfall. So, sprich mit Konstantin über seine Entdeckung? Nein. Jetzt müssen wir erstmal gucken, wo wir weitermachen. Schon wieder mehr. Aha. Äh, ursprünglich zu den ursprünglichen Telems gehen wir jetzt erstmal. Neunundsechzig nur? Das ist ja ganz in der Nähe hier. Okay, jetzt doch nicht mehr. Aber egal, da kommen wir ganz gut hin. Ja, und dann habe ich nur noch die Hauptaufgaben. Nehmen habe ich jetzt erledigt. Nur noch die Hauptaufgaben. Bin ich mal gespannt. Ähm. Ato oi. Can you come and see me? Das war's. Bird tear to mud. Thank you for coming to talk to me. You are on all Manawi, but you also look like a Lugayed Blau. Lugayid Blau? Is that what you call the congregation? Yes. Those who have yellow eyes on their banner. They are coins. But to answer your question, yes. I am the legate of the congregation. Is legate the Renaixe word for on Almanawi? No. It means that I am in charge of diplomatic relationships with the other nations. So I was right. You will be able to help us. Some of your clan are preventing us from accessing one of our sacred glades. Really? Why would they do that? Several seasons ago, some men from your clan came to ask us for wood for their houses. There were some old trees in this glade, so we let them do what they wanted. At first, everything was fine. But then they cut down too many trees. So we wanted to heal the place, plant some new trees, but they won't let us come close. Their bod irony, their warriors, are stopping us from doing so. I could investigate. Yes, please. You must tell them that they have to let us heal the glade. Okay. What's that then? Ähm. Habe ich nicht hier in dieser Dingens hier so ein... So ein Dingens? Zum Rei? Ach, wahrscheinlich passt das sowieso nicht. Wahrscheinlich muss ich so oder so laufen. Weil es nicht so weit weg ist. Roten Wälder. Ja, sieht gut aus. Wenn wir das Feuerchen hier an hier. Dann muss ich hier hoch. So, wo muss ich hin? Ich muss da hin. Einer von euch mit mir zu reden? Ne. Okay, weil ihr sind wir vollkommen abgesch... Kann ich mir gar nicht vorstellen. Haben die das nicht so gedreht, dass alle Romanzen auf äh, bisexuell laufen? Also dass jeder Mann, äh, also dass jeder Mann, also jeder Begleiter, der ein Mann ist, auf Frau und Mann steht und jeder Begleiter, der eine Frau ist, auf Mann und Frau steht. Meine ich auf jeden Fall. Wie hoch kann ich denn hier? Komme ich denn hier so? Nee, ich komme hier nicht so hoch, wie ich es wollte. Das heißt, ich muss hier einmal rum. 
Da, durch den Wald. Würde dann ja auch passen, ne? Okay, eine Holzfällerei. Ich verstehe das Problem. Do not force us to use our weapons. What's happening here, soldier? These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry, but we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night. And I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth. So it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. Shut it, you savage! I am de Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed some light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye. They fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see her. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Hello, doctor. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp, and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. Do not force us to use our weapons. We do not want to shed These poor woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue. Blood at the corners of the mouth. Haben die irgendwas gegessen? There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. A strong smell of ammonia. The entrails must have been perforated. The appearance of these bodies and the smell emanating from their mouths leaves me in no doubt. They were poisoned. That this doctor could have believed that this was simply an illness is beyond me. Mm. I can't see anything else of interest. So, what do you think? Do you recognize their disease? <sighs> they didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses, so I thought it must be a mysterious disease rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? Have you noticed anyone unusual here? Unusual? No. I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Mm. Did they drink anything in particular? They like to drink their fills in the evening. Life is dreary here. But if the poison was in the alcohol, I'd also be on the pile of corpses. What did they eat yesterday? Did they eat any mushrooms? No, no, we avoid that kind of thing. Uh, we don't know enough about the region's plant life. The congregation provides us with dry produce, otherwise we eat game. Good. Yesterday they butchered a beast brought by the hunters. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, let's see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp. Das ist doch eigenartig. Sehr eigenartig. Was ist das da für ein Hupperlaus? Was ist das denn? Drachenbluthaar. Ach, das ist hart. Da ist gar, gar nichts dran. Ne? Das ist einfach nur hart. Okay. 
finde die Jäger am Waldrand. Die werden angegriffen. Ich weiß aber nicht von wem. Ich sehe noch niemanden. Oh. This is our prey, Renaixe. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? We were looking for you. Us? What do you want from us? Three woodcutters were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poisoned? I swear we are not responsible for this. Listen. All the clues lead to you, but it may simply have been an accident. How about you tell me exactly what happened? It wasn't really an accident, but we did not want to kill them either. Then tell me how it happened. We did not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp. But the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which elder? One of the old men from Vigigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an andrig killed by a venomous docentat. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaixe invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. I will not hold you responsible, but from now on you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You were the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance, and I'm under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. Hmm. The Vagigido Elder thought it best to take vengeance into his own hands. I understand his anger, but Dunkus would not approve of this. He would say that bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed, and he wouldn't be wrong. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Cossillon will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict without violence. Äh, bitte, die, bitte, Sir de Corsillon. Hm. Wo ist der denn? Das ist ja auch eine große Frage für mich. Wow. In meinem Wohnsitz? Wenn er jetzt natürlich da oben ist, dann ja, haben wir ein Problem. Wir haben ein Problem. Ich kann da nicht reingehen, bis ich weiß, was das da mit, äh, mit Kurt ist. Da muss ich jetzt erst mit dem Fahrer reden. Ja, sonst muss ich dann drauf ankommen lassen, ne? Oh, da will einer was von mir. Und wer, 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 wer? Afra? Desade, I'm happy to see you. I can't wait to find this famous cave of knowledge and what it contains. I could probably go alone, but just think about what you could learn and not only about yourself. Don't you want to understand where your face markings come from? You were right, Afra. I will accompany you. Thank you, Desade. 
Let's return to Dunkus's village. Our new friends will surely be able to tell us more about this cave. Das jetzt erst Afras Ding oder? Hä? Ich bin jetzt mich verwirrt. Die Hülle des Wissens. Nein, das will ich doch jetzt gerade gar nicht machen. Ich will hier den Ärger Frieden Dingsbums machen hier. So, und das ist hier irgendwo. Und das erledige ich jetzt als erstes. Und dann kann ich mich um Afra kümmern. Ach du Scheiße, die hab ich gar nicht gesehen. Okay. Schrei, was ist das denn? Was sind das denn hier? Was ist das ja, ey? Ich hab einen. Krass. Okay, wir müssen hier hoch. Oh nein. Ja, diese scheiß Fledermäuse. Ich versuche mal vorbeizuschleichen. Muss man ja auch mal ausprobieren, ne? Ein Kerbe sieht so komisch aus. Ein paar Pilze geklaut. Ne, Zunderschwamm ist das. Den gab es auf jeden Fall auch bei Dragen. Oh, ein Rehchen. Ja, schönen guten Tag, wo sind wir denn hier? Hier war ich auf jeden Fall schon mal. What an astounding place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them. And we're also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <laughs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder how my people could accept the priests settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. 
Dann fragen wir mal den Theologen. Hier ist auch noch was. I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. She's our supervisor. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. I talked to Father Justinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of St. Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. Gut, dann haben wir hier noch einiges zu befragen, aber wir haben auch da was zu befragen. Do you have any ideas about who stole the tablet? Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name, though. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof. Not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. 
There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. Hmm. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors, and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Ja, da haben wir ja einiges erfahren, aber ich muss jetzt Schluss machen. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.